Hi, I'm Maine's favorite light bulb. Not for long, though, because I'm a CFL. Canadian Football League, eh? No, nope. compact fluorescent light bulb. Whoa, fancy name. I use 75% less electricity, last seven times longer, and I produce a lot less, uh, gas. Well... Greenhouse gas. It is estimated that nearly 100% of the 600 million lamps sent to landfills and incinerators each year are broken, amounting to 30,000 pounds of mercury waste. The mercury vapors emitted during improper disposal are released in the air and can travel over 200 miles. Mercury and its vapor is highly toxic to the human nervous system. What's up, Jeff? Hey, Jen. Hey, Kurt. How are you, Jeff? So uh, what's this new miracle product we've been hearing about? It's the compact fluorescent light bulb. That's weird looking. But they save a lot of electricity, don't they? Up to 80 percent, Jen, as compared to standard incandescent bulbs. All right, 80 percent. That's pretty good. That's a real money saver. Huh? And these bulbs are also good for the environment, Kurt. See, by using less electricity, they'll reduce greenhouse gas emissions in America's coal-burning power plant. <laughs> Sounds like it broke. Um, yep. Yeah. It did. Uh, well, we don't have a lot of time here, Jeff, so just grab another one and we'll continue. Yeah, I can't do that. I gotta deal with this mercury spill first. What? Mercury? Isn't that a deadly poison, Jeff? Uh, yeah, I'm afraid so. And each CFL bulb contains about five grams of mercury. Whoops. Don't worry. I know how to dispose of it properly. If you break one, it releases small amounts of mercury. So first of all, make sure the room is well ventilated and the air conditioning is off. This will help lower mercury levels. Use stiff paper to pick up the broken pieces of glass, and then sticky tape, such as duct tape, to pick up any remaining small glass fragments and powder. Never clean it up with your bare hands. Do not use a broom or vacuum cleaner because brooming will break the mercury into smaller droplets and then spread them, and vacuuming will put the mercury into the air, increasing exposure. If vacuuming is needed, do it only after visible materials are removed, and dispose of the vacuum debris in a sealed plastic bag. They're nice looking and energy efficient and come highly recommended by, well, your government. But they might be making you sick because CFLs produce what's called dirty electricity. I Skyped with an expert in the field, Professor Magda Havis, to find out exactly what this means. Clean electricity is a, is a smooth sine wave that just goes up and down 60 times a second. And when you have dirty electricity, you have these spikes that right on top of it. Um, and these are high frequency transients. And we know that they affect electronic equipment. And we're learning that they also have uh, effects on humans. Havis talks about the effects on diabetics. We can take a person who has a certain level of blood sugar, put them into an environment where they're exposed to dirty electricity or radio frequencies, and their blood sugar will begin to climb. We can then move them into a clean environment, and their blood sugar will begin to fall. So we can turn it on and off just like a light switch. We've worked with people who have multiple sclerosis, and when they're in a dirty environment, their uh, neurological symptoms um, are bad, and when they're in a clean environment, they improve. Let's go to my house now where Tom Nader, an EMF or electromagnetic frequencies expert, is helping me do an experiment. We want to see how much CFLs change the EMF field in my home. We start with the base reading. This is when nothing but the fridge is running. Then we try an incandescent bulb. No change. Ditto a halogen bulb. Now a CFL. Holy... Even worse, the effect of CFLs is cumulative, so more CFLs equal more dirty electricity. The more CFLs you add throughout your house, and in a typical home, I have, I counted in my home, I've got 50 light bulbs, right? And if I replace them all... Nada says there are viable options for those looking for safe energy efficiency. For example, a GS filter or a Graham Stetzer filter, which cleans the power on your circuit. Or... So this is an LED bulb. It doesn't produce dirty electricity. There's no mercury in them. Plus, they're the most energy efficient bulbs on the market, and they last longer than your average CFL. Thank you. Now let's check back in with our consumer advocate, Jeff Blankenship, who was just telling us about those amazing CFL light bulbs. Are you there, Jeff? Hey, guys. 
So, as I was saying, if every regular light bulb in America was replaced by these... Yeah, who are those guys? Housekeeping. They're here to clean up the mercury spill thing. Yeah, but I don't, are you sure that those people are from housekeeping? Those look like hazmat suits. Yeah? Huh. Well, I guess I didn't know that because I was distracted by the fact that these babies are 80% more... Um, hey, amigo, do you mind? Um, I'm on TV here. Just trying to get a level, sir. Look, I'm trying to do a consumer report here. Report's over, sir. Excuse me? You're in the hot zone. You've been contaminated. Jeff, is this a bad time for you? Uh, no, no, no. In fact, I can't think of a better time to tell the viewers the difference these bulbs can make when Sir, you... we need you to remove all of your clothing and put on these goggles. You know what, Jim? Let's pick this up later. Good idea. Good idea. Wow. Those guys from housekeeping are pretty, uh, pretty rough, huh? Yeah. They don't get around. We'll be right back.